Tales from the Crypt presents The Vault of Horror. I'm going to show you something now that is fairly frightening. It's frightening to me at least because I have a lot of work to do here. There have been renovations going on in the house and uh, I collect records and I collect vintage audio equipment and I've been just piling stuff up in, uh, in the recreation area here in the house in the basement and I have to tidy this up and get it all sorted out and make this place livable again. So I'm going to show you the Vault of Horror. That's a small reel-to-reel -reel deck. It uh, is a Concord 300, which around the world it was also called a National and a Panasonic. The uh, receiver there is the Kenwood that I showed in a previous video. Now I'm going to just back up and show you the room to show you what I'm, I'm uh, contending with right now. That's one of my dogs. And that's the other one of my dogs. They want to be in the picture too. That uh, rack over there is uh, full of vintage audio equipment. Uh, some of it I'm going to keep, some of it I'll dispose of. But I'm just going to check it out first and I'll probably video it for people and put it up on YouTube. Records. These boxes here are full of records and uh, a couple pair of Sony, very old Sony speakers on top pair of old 1970s uh, big Kenwood speakers in the bottom. I'm probably not going to keep those. My current audio system is composed of uh, a Yamaha A1020 amplifier, 125 watts per channel and it's a great sounding amplifier. I think it's for about 1985. A 1970s Thorin's TD160 turntable a Sony uh, CDP 790 um, CD player from about 1991 and from 1978 uh, an Akai GXC 710D cassette deck I bought that one new so I've had it for about 30 years I also have a few other pieces like this um, Akai reel-to-reel -reel deck it's a GX 210D and currently I'm using for speakers I'm I'm kind of A being uh, two different pair here. Um, the, the ones on the right are JBL L100 Centuries. They're from the mid 70s. They're one of the great speakers of all time, and and they really do sound fantastic. Well, you know, 35 years later, they're still a great pair of speakers. And the ones on the left I just picked up a few weeks ago, and uh, they're a really excellent pair of speakers as well. They're Yamaha NS690s. And uh, they're kind of the, the younger brother, I guess, of the, of the famous NS1000s. And they're excellent speakers as well. On top is a, is a selection of 1980s British record collector magazines that I've been reading. Now, going into another room is another storage room. And uh, this one uh, is full right now. And I have to put up some new shelves and sort this place out. Lots of records you see on the floor. Lots of records. And on the right hand side we have some IKEA shelves. These are perfect shelves for records. Um, they probably hold about a thousand albums or something like that. This is mostly classic rock in that uh, in that shelf there. I use the top for storage. These big boxes, they're all full of LPs. Um, there's some box sets there as well. Some classical box sets and uh, some other pop and jazz box sets. More boxes of records in the corner. There's a bookshelf behind there full of books. This is a nice find I got last year at the library sale. It's uh, Colin Larkin's Encyclopedia of Popular Music. and I picked this up for about twenty dollars at, uh, at the local library sale. I don't know why but they were dumping it from the reference collection and it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful encyclopedia of music. It covers all kinds of music, all styles of music and it was a great it was a great find turning around here I have a 1950s um, stool and they used to use these stools to put records in and uh, this does the lid does lift and I've put some records in it but it's an excellent condition it has that vinyl um, late 1950s vinyl style to it it's a really nice piece more records there on that rack and that's this wall along here is where I'm going to put the first shelf up. I might put a second shelf up as well. 
um, some music books, uh, guitar music books, a couple of other reel-to-reels I have, uh, two Akai 4000 series reel-to-reels. Now turning around, oh, behind the door, there's a pair of Paradigm speakers that are, uh, they're excellent speakers. I just need to replace the tweeter on one of them because uh, it's, it's, it uh, doesn't sound quite right to me. So, uh, so they'll be a good pair of speakers when I get them fixed up. I have there a, a radio from the early 1950s. It's a Westinghouse, and uh, we had one exactly like this at home when I was a kid, and I picked this up on eBay a while ago. More records on the floor against the couch. Oh, there's a stool I've just put up there temporarily. It's on top of uh, those are all guitar cases. Uh, I have a, I have a, I play guitar. I have a small collection of guitars that I like that I picked up over the years. Going over here to the other end of the couch, there's a few more records, some cassettes, and I have a pile of uh, of equipment that I'm either going to uh, keep or dispose of. I have to check it out first to see whether it's anything that I really like or whether it's just something I want to get rid of. And uh, you can see that there. Two racks of CDs, and they're going to probably stay in that same place out of the way. CBs, or CDs are really obsolete now. And uh, it's, it's a shame in a way, but, uh, but hey, that's the way it goes. And uh, I think most of the CDs I have are, are things that... Uh, that you can't buy on vinyl or uh, or things where I've got a vinyl copy and I just want one to play in the car or something so so that's CDs. Some more records here on this shelf and uh, some box sets on top. Nice jazz box set of big band music. I think it's a Time Life series. More coming down. It's This rack is mostly 60s stuff on the top and uh, you get down towards the bottom. I think the bottom two shelves are all new wave kind of stuff from the 1980s. It's it's. Uh, I didn't like a lot of the 80s stuff, but but uh, <laughs> I've got a couple of shelves worth that uh, that obviously I still like. So uh, so that's cool. And uh, and then that's it going out the door. But what you see probably represents about half of my record collection, and and uh, and the 45s and stuff. They aren't here either. But uh, it's a lot of records. And uh, I'm going to have to clean up and dispose of some of this. And uh, that's my project. I'm on holidays right now, and this is going to keep me busy for a while. Have a good day.